Hey guys, you know how much I just love making fun of Master Lock, and uh, this is one of those times because I've discovered a, a new technique to open these. Now you know that these, uh, well, they're the butt of a lot of jokes. Now of course this one works with the, with the key, and of course they're incredibly easy to pick. I mean, most people just go ahead and rake them, and that's what we're going to do here. Just a normal Bogota, just a, just a quick swipe. Is usually all you need to get one of these things open but you know what there's an easier way it doesn't require any tools in fact you don't even have to touch it in many cases so let me get set up and, uh, and I'll show you a couple of ways okay the first thing I noticed about these master locks is that they're easily intimidated by superior locks they, ha they have no confidence in their own abilities and let me show you this uh, how, how this might work you might say put some of the you know big locks like this up there and they say hey there little boy what kind of piddly ass lock are you huh Whoa. another thing I noticed that they're easily frightened they don't have a lot of confidence they're really very high strung locks and so let's pretend we have a southern lock this actually is a rota lock made in the UK but pretend he's from the deep south and he might walk up and say Hey there, boy. You sure do have a pretty ass pole, don't you? You know what, boy? I'm gonna drill you a new keyhole. Oh, so it's like that, huh? You sure don't give up easy, boy. I'm gonna cut your plastic cover off. Uh-huh. So it's like that. These locks are also prone to threats. Uh, things they've heard or maybe they've seen them on the internet, I really don't know. But let me give you an example. I'll say, all right, Mr. Master Lock, I'm going to send you to a friend of mine. He has a really nasty reputation for gorilla picking. He's going to take a really sharp object and he's left handed. He's going to ram this thing right up your keyhole. And then, uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, his name is Alex Blade. And he's really, ah, oh, so you've heard of Alex, huh? I've also found some things that they're just allergic to. They don't tolerate well. Usually viscous liquids. For example, Lubriderm. They really don't like Lubriderm very much. So if you just take a little bit of it and just kind of get it on him immediately almost. There you go. Really quick to yield to Lubriderm. Another thing they don't like is ketchup. Now it's weird because it's only Heinz. Heinz is the only one that, that has any effect on them. And I just don't understand that. I've tried 11 different brands of ketchup. You just, again, just like Lubriderm, you dribble it on them, and they just don't tolerate it well. There we go. Easy. Okay, the last liquid that, uh, that these locks are sensitive to, uh, well, it's Family Channel. I can't really say it, but I, I can demonstrate it. But first, I'm going to have to climb up onto the workbench. Here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get out my equipment and uh, get this thing out. Come on, babies. Nobody's watching. It's okay. Concentrate. There you go. There you go. Uh, let me finish this off. There we go. <laughs> okay, fellas. There you go. Whew. What a relief. All right, there. Well, you go. <laughs> Not the best form of security in the world, so I recommend you don't get these. There's too many different ways that these can be threatened or opened, different techniques. And, uh, you know, I'm going to need a new mat. Oh, man. Anyway, everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal. Stay away from master locks.